Welcome back, Smashers. This is your Daily Smash for Tuesday, February 7th, 2024. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. Just got home from the airport. It is a 11 o'clock at night. After a uh, long <laughs> journey from Aspen to Vail. I just absolutely love that drive. Yeah, it was beautiful. Beautiful. It was stunning. And I love going through all those little towns. Yeah. So cute. We, 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 we had some pee break stops uh -huh. along the way. The little towns are so cute, and I loved uh, uh, Vail. Vail's beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, the, the, just the drive itself is so scenic. There's this windy road that apparently was the most expensive highway ever built. Like 20 million, uh, well, over a billion dollars. Yeah. Took over 20 years to build it. With the river and the mountains and the snow. And then uh, on the way to Vail, we stopped... Um, in Georgetown. Was that between Vail and Aspen or after Vail? I don't remember. Anyway, we stopped in Georgetown to go to the bathroom at a Circle K. And Kelly goes ahead of me. I filled the tank. And I got it going, you know, with the credit card. And then I walk in and there was a men's room and a ladies room. And I walk, obviously, into the men's room. I guess there were three stalls in the ladies room. But it looked like there was like a, someone in there. I had to go. We don't give up the story. Okay. So I'm standing at a urinal and a guy comes in next to me and we're both peeing. And then I hear this, hey, and someone grabbing me. And it's Kelly coming out of the stall in the men's room. And I'm like, what are you doing in here? Look at another men's, you know what? And she just like laughed and walked out, I guess. Well, I had to go and it was, the, the women's was kind of locked. Yeah. But she's, there was three stalls in there. Yeah, <laughs> hey, uh, when you have to go, you, won't, you have to go. Yeah, no, I get it. Um, we're so excited to welcome Ilya Wine back <gasps> to the Daily Smash. A lot of you have been asking, where's Ilya? What happened to Ilya? Well, here it is. She's back. We're Ilya, back. Ilya Wine is back. Now, uh, we don't want to overwhelm you with advertisements. I'm going to make sure we have fewer YouTube ads on this program because I want to focus on Ilya. Uh, We're so happy she's back, you guys. I yeah. mean, we really have to promote her. Her um, small business, uh, she's beautiful. These, these Hardworking. Are, yes. Layla Joy Williams is the creator of Ilya Wine. And she's a big fan of the show. And uh, we took a couple months off and Ilya is back. So I don't even know if there's a discount code. <laughs> I barely talked to her since yeah. um, she came back. So what we can tell you is you go to Ilya.com. You can you can uh, get your, your delicious Spanish wine in a variety of flavors. The rosé is terrific. The Roble Red is outstanding. Mm -hmm. um, and we used to have a discount code. I feel like I should know this. <laughs> if there is one, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, either way, you're going to get a great deal on this wine. She has a wine club, and we encourage you to join. And we encourage you to try Ilya Wine. You will absolutely love it. I mean, it was, it did, it was so successful before... Uh, that you know, you guys all supported her and, and mm -hmm. did very well for her. So let's, let's 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 keep her back so she sticks around with us. Yeah, support a small business, support Ilya One. You'll yeah. be supporting our show at the same time. Got all all kinds of points. Uh huh. It's good. Um, celebrity sightings in Aspen. Celebrity sightings in Aspen. We saw Sean Payton, football coach, whose cousin used to work at Fox News, and I wanted to go up to him and introduce myself. But I felt weird about it. He was at the uh, St. Regis, mm -hmm. which is ridiculously nice. Beautiful there. Um, I like it better than the Little Nell. You do? I do. I do too, actually. It's, yeah. It's bigger. There's a lot more to do there. Right. We went to the craziest parties. I know we talked about some of it yesterday, but uh, we forgot to mention when we went to the Caribou Club. Oh, yeah. Something like popping up here. Really? like a, Yeah. Like a little rash. We're going to do some Benadryl. Well, I was in... The winter weather. Yeah. Um, we saw the Winklevoss twins at, at Caribou the Caribou Club. Club. They sit behind us, and these guys, 
were wearing the same exact outfit <laughs> like they did if they were like five years old. Right, which is kind of weird because they got to be in their 40s. And they were with like these young, like 21 year olds. Yeah. But they looked ridiculous. <laughs> um, it looked like. They're the Facebook guys, like, the Facebook twins. Yeah, the Facebook twins. They walked away, I guess. I think Zuckerberg like stole the company from them or something. They sued him and they won like 100 million bucks or something like that. What, were those the guys, the actors, or those are real guys? No, those are the. I thought those were the real guys. Oh, I thought that was the actors of the movie. You thought those were the actors who played the Winklevoss twins? Yes. I'm pretty sure sure those were the actual twins. Really? I don't know. I thought I, that was the, the the actors. Then we brought it up with Lindsay and Drew, and they said they had seen them earlier, and they also said it was the Winklevoss twins. Oh, okay. Maybe I was fooled. I don't know. Well, whatever. They look stupid at, you know, 50-year-old men wearing the same exact outfits like they were, like, two years old. Right. <laughs> we were dying laughing. And then while we were sitting in the lobby at the St. Regis... Um... Oh, we saw um, Juliana Rancic. I spoke to her because she's next-door neighbors with my friend Asia and Ted up in El Dorado. Yeah. Uh, her husband, Bill, was not there. She I know Bill alone. and, and Juli Juliana... Yeah. We met her as well. But then when we were at the St. Regis, we saw Rachel Zoe. Well, we were all sitting there, and our friends Carly and uh, Scotty were, they're the ones that were underwriting this whole gala. Yeah, they put on this whole snowball. Is it a gala or a gala? I would say gala. A gala. So they put up this whole gala. They made $4 million. Three. Oh. Three million at the auction. And for 40 minutes. It was 40 fat. Minutes. Yeah, yeah. It was really 40 fast. 40 minutes. Yeah. I'm like, like, was it like Dumb and Dumber? Remember <laughs> when they came in there and they shot the owl at the... And she was one of the guests, right? Uh, Rachel, Rachel Zoe. Zoe was, I guess. Yeah. She mm -hmm. went there and she spoke. She had her little boys up there. So anyway, my friend Hope was at all the events. It's, it, it was it's called a snowball and it's a four-day event yeah. of just really young it looked like a lot of like influencers a little mm -hmm. like a lot of tiktokers and yeah famous djs were there famous like, djs just that, that cool people yeah and everybody was like dressed up to the nines it was really they had a couple like braves in the afternoon saturday and sunday so that i ran fun. into a girl that used to date my friend sean finn and they lived in houston and she's smoking hot this girl blondie on the go blondie on the go is her instagram handle smoking mm. hot i ran into her there she had like the outfits these it was like going to the oscars yeah. wasn't it yeah they were they, how about these, that one girl outfits were amazing how about that one girl had that fan dress on oh yeah look at this I'm from show. china or something from, I, from china. yeah i have i have a video it kind of remind me of a floaty like you're gonna go into the pool <laughs> and then the, this other girl was wearing like a plastic bag with a poochie, like, ski outfit underneath. It but, was, then, but tell them what happened with Rachel. But, but, like, Blondie on the Go had a beautiful white coat, beautiful yeah. dress. She oh, is stunning. She's stunning. Tell them what happened with Rachel Zoe, though, when she walked up. She was at the table. So we're sitting on the couch like this, and I'm I'm sitting here. Rick's sitting here. My friend Hope is sitting here. And Hope was at the whole thing with her, I guess. Yeah. And she starts talking to her. And her little boy, Rachel Zoe, first of all, she looks like she's 60 years old. I think she she's my age. She has two little kids. And she has two little kids. Yeah. And she's like, this skinny. I don't, I don't know how you're that skinny and have <laughs> babies. I don't what? understand how that oh. happens. Like, how do they get the proper nutrition when you're <laughs> I don't know. that skinny? It's weird to me, but whatever. Anyway, her outfit was really pretty. She had, like, this beautiful coat with these, like, these sheep, like this, like wool, like, you know, like this. Fuzzy? It, it was like this uh -huh. <laughs> on the end of, of her coat, right? I thought the whole coat was like that. Like it was all furry. Oh, maybe it was all, it was neat though. It was pretty. And so she, and, so she walks gold. up and Hope's talking her up and like kissing <gasps> no, her butt. No, no, yeah. Hope is up there kissing her ass. <laughs> And uh, I, I didn't know who she was at first. And then someone said the name, I think, and I kind of figured it out. I've heard the name, but I didn't. But anyway, so Kelly at one point says to her, she's standing right next to Kelly. And, and Kelly says, well, weren't you on Bravo? And she goes, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't realize if she was on Bravo or if she was on, like on MTV or if she was on. And, you know, I, 
I forgot what network. So she, she was, was like, on. "Yeah, I had a show, and now I'm working on a couple other shows." And Kelly goes, "Oh, I was a, I was on Bravo. I was on Real Housewives of Orange County." And instead of saying, "Oh, who, what's your name? Have we met before?" Like being nice, just like, "Oh, I just know that one. and met the one who was married to the doctor." Uh, I but I I kind of laughed because the last time I told you guys, <laughs> yeah, I was at Anthropology That's... at the Westfield Mall in in Beverly Hills, and the the lady goes. The, the the couple came in for Orange County. What's what's the? But what? she knew your name. That that yeah that, yeah. That she clerk. goes. What's she's married to the doctor. Yeah, right. same thing. Same thing. This 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 Heather Dubro tries to be such a big huge actress, and mm-hmm. you know, and no one knows her name but the wife's but, doctor. But the, <laughs> but the thing that struck me, I I'm sorry. I just thought that. She could have been nicer. Like she didn't even make any effort to say hello, or introduce herself. She was herself very or, snobby. She yeah, was like that was my impression. Like, impression. Oh my god, we have to get like Electrale on the plane now. Oh yeah, she said we're trying to get to our plane. She's like, like we're trying to get our to our plane. I have my two sons here, and they're like <laughs> reading right now. They read books. And she's like, and literally, like, yeah, it, who, like, how do you talk like that? I don't know. I don't know. I was just saying, after like did, a minute that, or two, I was just real, annoyed. Did she really talk like this? I just wanted her to go away. Go Rick did not plane. like a Rico. She was go, rude. Go get on your plane, lady. Yeah. But, so anyway, we had a terrific weekend, right? I mean, it was, oh, I, it was fab. Really I mean, fun. Fabulous. And, and I want to thank. Uh, our amazing hosts, Greg and Jackie, for um, putting us up and driving us around in his awesome pickup truck. They dropped us at the airport. It was a long drive. Yeah. We broke it up, as I said, we stopped. But they took us right to the airport. Oh, so nice. They're such good friends. I love them. Yeah, I they're... love them. I love them. They stay at our house. They have their aunts and um, uncles stay at our house. At Pickleball at Party Pickleball Town. Party. Yeah, they're just... They're, they're, they're great people. They're great. Really fun. We had a great time. And then we get to Denver Airport, and I, I don't know if you've ever flown out of Denver International. It's really strange looking. It's way out in the middle of nowhere, right? I I find that so bizarre. It's like fifty miles from Denver. There's it's really, nothing around it. There, there, there's, I'm like, why wouldn't they? It's like there was no land. I'm like, <laughs> Kelly's looking around, going, well, "There's wide open <laughs> plains here. They could have moved it ten miles closer." But I guess they couldn't. I don't know. I'm like, what? Like, what's the industry here? And they have all these They're like, like the Denver Broncos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tourism, yeah, uh, weed. So industries. So it looks like a circus, right? A circus tent. Yeah. There's all these little pop up tents all in the over the main, and I guess it collapsed in the snow. <laughs> but it's a beautiful airport, and it was not crowded at all. But once we checked our bags, the walk to the security line was like. A mile and a half, right? Yeah, it was, it's, it's like state of the art that TSA. Yeah, right. It was different. We get we get to the finally get to the checkpoint, and they have these bins that come out from underneath a shelf, basically, right? And it it goes, just Dew. keeps feeding them to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And then when you get to the the metal detector, the scanner, it was different. You it know wasn't, how you usually go like this, like this. You know how you go? Yeah, you have to well, go. Well, this like one this. had a little picture. You go like this. So I go up there, and Kelly had already gone her, through. No, I went first. I'm, I'm looking at him, and I'm going I'm like watching this. Watching him. I'm going like this, and it's not right. And then I go like this, and then I go like that, and then he goes, and then like I went like this. this. <laughs> and the lady at the TSA was dying laughing. <laughs> but at least they had a good. Uh, they were good sports and a sense of humor. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, and then so then after we went through security, I had to use the restroom, and Kelly decides to sit down in a wheelchair. Oh yeah, no. So but we were going through, and there was this like blocked off little area, and it said you could see it was like for handicapped people mm-hmm. in this little like thing. Like and there were a lot of empty seats. There were like three or four people in there, and there were probably 30, 40, and there was like, seats. Yeah, and so there was these two people, but there was a like a wheelchair that had like, it was like airport little wheelchair. Right? On the outside of the area where people were sitting, but it was right next to this couple who were inside the area. So there was these two couples that were sitting there, and Rick went to go to the bathroom, and I just plopped myself outside like this. And she's wearing her fur coat with her cowboy fur, hat. She looks like a movie star. Okay. And I was sitting there like this, and they're looking at me, and I went like this, and they're like, <laughs> hello, and I'm like this, 
And what were they saying? They're are like, you they're on? Like, Hello. They're like, are you on Frontier? And I was, and I, did, I kind of ignored them like this. And they're like, excuse me, ma'am, are you on Frontier? And I'm like, like first of all, I'm like, I'm not deaf. I'm gonna act like I'm deaf. And she goes, and, and then I went like this, and then they're like, in my face, and they're like, are you on Frontier? And I go. And they go, oh, f- she's. They're like, they're like, no, they go, oh shit, she's I deaf. Have to beep that. I have to she beep goes, that out. And I was, and I, you don't have to believe that. I go, I go, I took everything for not to, to not to smile, not to smile or burst out laughing. I, and and the so, thing is, like, so they're they're like looking at me, and then, the, then they turned around like this. Like that. Uh, and then they, were, I, they were embarrassed. And then they were them. embarrassed. And then I was just kind of like staring at them like this. And I felt weird. I got up. <laughs> when I came out of the uh, bathroom, I'm looking over at the chair and it's empty. And I'm looking around like, where is she? And I hear Rick. And I turn around and she's like leaning up against the wall next to the bathroom. She's like, I, I, go, come here. Like, I go like this. They think I'm deaf. <laughs> Like the, the thing is, I'm almost deaf. So I told Kelly, you're oh, going to have to learn sign language because it's only a matter of time before. <laughs> and then Rick goes, that's how we're going to I want to tell this story on the smash. And Rick goes, why? Well, the, the, the um, hearing people get uh, offended by... Uh, I'm like, dude, I took a semester of... Um, sign, language? sign language in college, like when I was like 17. Yeah. I go, it's a language. How are people in the deaf community going to get a... Fr-? It's like a language. Right. And you know what? I'm gonna have to start learning this because he's he didn't, look. He took his hearing aids out. Yeah, you're gonna have to learn too. I didn't want to fly with him, with the air pressure and everything. <laughs> and Thank then, you. so then we get on the tram. This airport is ridiculously huge. And once we got to the finally got to where we thought where the gate was, we had to go to the third terminal on this tram. And the voice on the tram, Kelly starts cracking up because it sounds like the voice from. The Pee Wee Herman movie. PG, Mr. Herman. Mr. Herman. <laughs> so here's, Remember they're at the, here's a video of that. I love that movie. When they're out <laughs> and they're getting their popcorn. And, so, and he's in the movie and he's like, yeah. oh my God, Dodie, there's my, there's my, there's my line. All right, so here's the, here's the video of that. The doors are closing. Please keep clear and hold on for departure to all sea gates. Mr. Herman. Mr. Herman. And we kept hearing it over and over, and Kelly kept laughing every time the, the voice would come on. I started imitating it at one point. I said it maybe a little too loudly, and this <laughs> bunch of dudes on there just looked over him and like, who's this jerk? And then they got off the tram. Um, I want to share a couple of our favorite comments. We have hundreds and hundreds of comments. Thank you for writing in. And uh, Ar- is it Armin? Amy. Ann M, what's up oh. with the haters today? You are just sharing your life and letting us know how much things cost. I think it's so funny. We're like, why do you guys talk about money so much? It's like, it's so weird. Why do you guys talk about money so much? People that are grew up with money and that then um, they don't talk about it. Okay, well, we are a show, a travel show, if you will. Yeah. We are uh, Anthony Bourdain, but in a group sense. So in a, a couple we, sense? That. <laughs> A group. <laughs> yeah, we're I'm a group. I'm tired. I haven't slept in days. Anyway. You slept uh, on a plane for like two and a half hours. Exactly. You were knocked out. But we we have a lot of international folks. We've showed you guys our, uh, what is it called? I'm so tired right now. Um, but we've shown them our, our analytics. Yes. So we have a lot of people from Australia. New Zealand, South Africa. All across Europe. All across Europe. Canada, Mexico. Canada, Mexico, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So we like to put things on the real real and talk about how things are very expensive or things are very inexpensive. Uh-huh. For instance, like we talked about Puerto Vallarta being a bargain. Right. And so why can't we say that Aspen is super expensive and how much things cost? Because people probably want to know yes they want to they don't know they're from different countries so, so take it easy okay yeah, we're, we're, we're just trying to share facts calm your tits and okay? ex- experiences <laughs> mazzy thank you mazzy for backing us up said i'd like to see anyone here create write 
add content, and host a daily podcast. It may look easy because Kelly and Rick are affable and fun to watch and listen to. I like that word, affable. Me too. You don't hear it very often. (laughs) No, you don't. But it's a grind in the sense you want many things and must work a lot to keep it interesting, exciting, and fun. It's people's rights to write what they want. After all, it is a free country. But to make mean-spirited remarks to just to belittle them is so crass and really only shows your ignorance. There are a lot of great words in this. Yeah, email. this one's a smart one. Because the people that are haters and that write stupid things, they have a low IQ. Oh, That's why. Snap. Pass it if it's a comment or action you don't like or turn the channel. No need for poison darts. Cheers from the Hamptons, Long Island, New York. Thank you, Mazzy, very much. Very nice. Very nice. And now, before we get to the news, Kelly has something to share. Hi, I've been suffering with Hashimoto's for years. It's an autoimmune disorder affecting the thyroid. I take medication for it, but now I'm also taking Selenda from Soul Life. Selenda ensures that I get the essential minerals I need every day. And it's a secret power is absorption. Selenda's formula uses natural, organic, safe, and effective ingredients, making it highly absorbable. Selenda, Rekick, and the rest of Soul Life supplements guarantee you'll get the minerals your body is craving. Because our soil is over-farmed and depleted of nutrients. No nutrients in the soil means less minerals in your food. That's why you need Soul Life. I've been taking it for almost three months now, and I'm already feeling better, so much better. Soul Life is a hit in Canada, and now Rick and I are so excited to be the official launch partners here in America. I love my Soul Life, and you will too. Soul Life, the minerals you need. If you click on the link in our show description, it'll take you to our Soul Life page, where you'll get a significant discount. It's 20 bucks off each bottle. If you buy auto order two bottles or more, and there's a six pack, you save like 120 bucks on the six pack. Ninety um, percent of Soul Life customers keep using it after 90 <coughs> days me. because it works. Are you all right? I have a little frog. A little froggy in your throat. Okay, this is not an MLM thing. This is something I have a health issue. I want to get better. I want all of your smashes. We all have. Either some autoimmune disease. I've, no, I've we're found not, that we're out. We're not selling you an opportunity. We're, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're giving you an opportunity to buy. <laughs> Something have, that will help your body. It's direct from the manufacturer, from the company to you. Yeah. But you're just buying it through us. And you're getting the discount through us. That's all it is. They're making the product and they're going to ship it right to your door. And you just go to Rick, uh, soullife.com slash Rick and Kelly. Link in the show description and get yours today. In the news now. In the news. I don't know if you heard, and this is not funny. King Charles waited basically his whole life to be king, longer than anyone waited in history. Yeah, I mean, his mom was like crowned at like 11. Very early age, and she lived to what, 100 almost? And five? So he waited for, till he was like 74 years old, and he finally was named king, and 15 months later, he's diagnosed with cancer. Oh. So, is he in a croak? I don't know. They didn't say what kind. My guess is colon cancer, but I don't know. I, I don't Yikes. think that they've said. That's the worst. Told you it's guys, we bad. all have to get our colonoscopies. He went in uh, for a prostate procedure, and while he was in the hospital, they discovered that he had cancer. So they're treating it now. Yeah. But he's seventy-five. But those Windsors never die. They live forever. Those people. There were there was already already talk that uh, his son. You mean uh, the the good son? Not Harry. Who's the other one? Not Firecrotch. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, the bad C. Not Harry. The other one. What's his oh, name? Oh, uh, Philip. Philip? No. No, that's the brother. <laughs> How come we don't know? <laughs> you know the guy, don't you? Harry. Prince of Wales. Yeah. Not Prince Harry. Prince Harry is flying to the UK to be reunited, reunited with his dad. But Harry's not the heir to the throne. Harry gave up his his uh, right to the throne. What's that kid's name? Mom! William! William! William. <laughs> We're a couple of idiots. I'm sorry. We have been traveling all day, all right? We might have had a glass of wine in the lounge, which the Centurion Lounge at Denver, which was really nice. Oh, that Centurion Lounge is badass. Yeah. We Wasn't ate. It? We had yeah, dessert. Yeah. We had wine. The only thing I didn't like is that when you went to the bar, 
wanted to get two glasses of wine. And they said, your, your wife has to come up here. I'm like, my wife's watching the luggage. They're like, well, she has to come get the wine. I'm like, here's her ID. There she is. They're like, nope. So yeah. I had to do it one at a time. Yeah, that was a kind of a pain. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But it was free and it was for me. So. Much more on that tomorrow. We hope you guys uh, have a smash-tastic day. And is it good to be home? It is good to be home. Go it's to raining. I want to go take a shower. It's I need, a, like, my hair yeah. is gross. Like, I, before I go to bed. Why, you know you need to travel and, like, you're with all those people with germs. Yeah. While and, you shower, I'm going to edit the show. Okay, good. And then I'm going to jump in there because I want to be clean when I get in <laughs> you bed. You better be. <laughs> <laughs> so it is raining here, by the way, in Newport Beach. And I said to Kelly on the way home, like, isn't it... Like, it's so weird that now, anytime it rains, it's like the lead story and it's odd. I'm like, what? It's raining? Why? It used to rain like every other day in New York City. Ew. It rained a lot there. Ew. I know. Yeah. Okay. Peace out, everybody. Peace out, everybody. Have a good night.